now I'm ready. Hey guys, it's Sadie, and a couple weeks ago I recorded a video reacting to Pokemon fanfiction I wrote when I was nine. <laughs> and if you haven't seen that video, I suggest you watch it before you watch this because it won't make sense. But I'm going to give a little recap of what happened in the other one before I continue and read the rest of it because you guys seem to really like it. I enjoyed filming it, so I'm going to finish this so you guys can see what happens to Sarah and her Pokemon. So basically, Sarah was going to go on her first adventure and she's getting her first Pokemon. She's talking to the professor and he was showing her how to use Pokeballs and how to catch Pokemon. And that's where he left off, so that's where we're going to pick up. I looked at the Pokeball. It was a heel ball. Piplup, return, I said. Now, said the Professor, this is how you catch Pokemon. First attack until half of its HP is gone. Next, draw your you close Pokeball. Then if you win, the Pokemon will go inside. Cool, I said. I'm going to try and catch the Skitty, I said. I, re I watched as Professor walked away. Then I took out my Pokeball with Piplup in it. I pressed the middle and in front of me was Piplup. My mom ran up to me. And like I realized I had a really missed opportunity in the last video. I should do like that like stereotypical like anime mom voice. At least they had it in all the Pokemon shows. Who'd you pick? My mom said. Piplup, I said, showing Piplup to my mom. Good choice, my mom said. Since you're ten, my mom said, I'm going to let you explore the world with Piplup. Thank you, mom, I said, hugging her. Come on, Piplup. That's it, mom's like, okay, go ahead, you can do whatever you want, go on an adventure. And I'm just like, thanks, and I hug her. Is that how it works when you move out of your house? Like, you're, you're ten now. Just go. Bye, mom. So I walked outside, but those two trainers were still there. Cute, one of them said. Who do you think you are? I shouted. We're Team Rocket, they said. Yeah, said Meowth, jumping up and lifting his hand up. But none of them high-fived him. Instead, the girl trainer grabbed him and put him on the ground. <laughs> <That's mean. laughs> Look, that's so sweet, Team Rocket, in a nutshell, I guess. Meowth returned, she said. No, said Meowth. Let's go, she said. Yeah, that's right, I shouted. Go. Well, I was rude. Like, they were walking away, and I still kept, like, interrogating them. Not interrogating them. I still kept trying to, like, start a fight with them. Like, they were leaving. That's not, that's not what you do. That's not the way, Sarah. That's not the way of the Pokemon trainer. They walked away. Mess of stone, you're, oh my god, I'm, I keep going. <laughs> They were walking away. Mess with someone your own size, I said. Oh, really, said the girl trainer. I challenge you to a trainer battle. I looked around. Everyone was looking at me. I only had one Pokemon, and they had a bunch, but I didn't want to be embarrassed. So I said, I accept. Well, that's what you get. <laughs> you deserve that one. And I thought the show's picture. That's me being like, yeah, go mess with someone your own size. And that was supposed to be Piplup. But I didn't finish it. So it was just a circle with a speech bubble. I didn't know what powers Piplup had. So I looked it up in my Pokey handbook. She could do Bubble Beam where she shoots bubbles. Peck where she pecks. And Tackle where, guess, she tackles. Oh. She was... She has more powers, but they're not listed in the handbook. Okay, I'm ready, I said. The boy trainer threw his Pokeball and said, Boba Fett, I choose you. The girl trainer chose Meowth. I went first. Piplup, do peck. Piplup ran toward, toward Wubba Fett and pecked him. Wubba Wubba, <laughs> I feel what he sounds like, said Wubba Fett. Then Meowth did furry swifts. Piplup lost half of her HP, so I gave her an energy treat. And here is Wubbuffet. And I want to point out my, like, lobster hand. Or I guess it's not me, that would be James. 
But like, that's how I always drew hands when I was little. Just like a little lobster claw coming. No fair, said the boy trainer. It's so fair, I said. Boom, roasted. Then the girl trainer said, meow, do tackle. Block it, someone said. It was Professor, but I didn't know. I tried to tell that to Piplup, but it was too late. Piplup lost more than half of her HP. I looked left and right. Am I crossing the street? What? Most of the people looked concerned. Piplup was really weak, and I didn't know what to do. So I kicked Wobbuffet, and he fainted on Meow, who fainted on the boy trainer, who fainted on the girl trainer. We're blasting off again, they said as they shot into the sky. That's not how it works. What, that's just mean. That's like Pokemon abuse. You didn't just kick a Pokemon. Like, look, I drew a picture and like, look how scared he is. And just me with my like green high heels. Just like, take that, Boba Fett. No. <laughs> what does it say? Bam. It's <laughs> Wubba, Wubba. Said Wubba Fett as they shot off. Then they turned into a star. Who were they? I said, confused. And here is a picture of them as a star shooting off. There, James and Jesse. I turned around. Professor was clapping behind me. Or, I'm sorry. Professor was clapping from behind me. Professor, what are you doing here? I was going to wish you good luck, he explained. Professor, I'm so sorry. And then he cuts me off and says, It's okay, he said. I would have done the same thing. Would you? Would you have kicked a Pokemon with your green high heels? I don't think so, Professor. So since you did such a good job, I'm going to give you a skitty. Thank you, Professor, I said as he handed me my skitty. I took out another heel ball and put skitty inside. I nicknamed her Shooting Star. How nice. I kicked a Pokemon, I abused a Pokemon, and then I get rewarded with it. With a Skitty. Don't, don't kick Pokemon, don't kick anything. Besides, like, a punching bag or something. Like, no! <laughs> when he went inside and everyone left, I took out the Pokeball and pressed the middle. Out hopped Skitty. Skit, skit, she said. Let's go heal Piplup, I said, picking up Piplup's Pokeball. Piplup, return, I said. And this is actually probably the only decent drawing in this. Like, this is actually kind of cute. I love Skitty. Skitty's cute. Then we headed for the Poke Center. On the way there, I met two Pokemon trainers named Jenny and Mikey. Ooh, we're getting some new characters. So, um, I don't want to assume anything because it's 2018. I'm assuming that was meant to be Jenny. That's Mikey. I like the spiky hair with the red tips. Very ahead of his time. And then there's me. Or Sarah. We all only have one Pokemon except me, I explained. I explained everything that happened. Lucky, said Mikey. You guys know where the closest Poke Center is, I said. No, they said. Can I see your Pokemon, I asked. Sure, they said. Can we see your Piplup? So I said, Piplup, I want you. Aw, that's so cute, said Jenny. Jenny's Pokemon was Kleppa, and Mikey's Pokemon was Cyndaquil. So here's like my artsy photograph of Kleppa and Cyndaquil. I'm like, look, it's a sunset in the background. And that. Oh, Picasso is shook. It's getting late, I said, yawning. Um, that was me yawning, and I spelled it out phonetically in parentheses because I knew what those were because I was a writer. Um, let's sleep for a while. Okay, said Jenny, laying down. I brought a Wonder Thunder tent, said Mikey. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Mikey. I brought a Wonder Thunder tent, said Mikey. What's that, I said. It's a tent that blocks, oh, sorry. It's a tent that blocks all weather, and it's like a house inside. Cool, I said. Mikey took out a robotic remote with a red button. He pressed the button and the remote turned into a green tent with a black button inside. I looked inside. Mikey was right. It did look like a house. It had a triple bunk bed. Jenny went on the top one. Mikey went on the second one. And I went on the bottom one. 
and this video is like over 10 minutes long already and there's still some to go this isn't done surprisingly so I think I'm just gonna stop this right here and if you want the ending then you have to give this a thumbs up and comment telling me that you want it I really want to finish this I want my legacy to be online for all of you to see so yeah that's it um let me know if you want more bye hey guys it's Sadie and I a couple of weeks ago <laughs>